Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do a beauty haul slash empties video for you because I recently bought some things from Space NK and Cult Beauty and then my empties drawer, like I don't know what happened, but I can barely close it. So I thought I will quickly talk through these, but I think after I put the makeup on my face, I kind of want to give you a bit of a first impressions of these bits as we go. Some of them are new items and some of them I've actually tried and would 100% recommend. Some of them are repurchases and some of them are just things I saw online that I've kind of been wanting to try for a bit. So we will go through these later on. But first up, the new stuff. So the bits that I got from Space NK are actually all beauty things. So I'm gonna go with that first. And I saw this, this is brand new. There weren't any reviews on either Cult Beauty or Space NK for this. But I saw it and I thought, yep, I could really do with that in my life. And this is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I'll show you what it looks like inside. I was quite surprised by what it's like. It looks a little something like this and it's basically blue balm. Because it said primer, I was kind of expecting like a moisture, sort of more creamy texture. But it's almost like a lip balm, it's hard. It reminds me of something that Benefit did back in the day. They might still do this, I'm not sure. It was called Dr. Feel Good and it was like a pore, filler and you put it on and it was very much just like a silicon texture that kind of filled things in and gave a bit of slip to the skin and i have used this the other day i didn't notice much of a difference about it but i wasn't really using it properly so i thought let's try it on this one yeah i'm not really sure you can tell much of a difference between this eye and that eye i'll do my other one i'm not sure i can see much of an initial difference with this one but i will report back and let you know how concealer goes over the top now this one i am excited for it is from nars and it is their natural radiant long wear foundation i got this in the shade deville which is the shade that i use across all foundations it's probably a little bit yellow and deep for me right now but We'll give it a go. I've seen reviews of this online. I saw Jackie Ina did a review of it and she basically said it was very similar to Sheer Glow. So I haven't used Sheer Glow in quite a long time so I don't think I'll be able to do a comparison. But if it's like medium-ish coverage with a bit of glow then I think I might like it. Just gonna apply this with a brush because I've just been going in with brushes more recently. Ooh, this has coverage. <laughs> I did use quite a few pumps. I'm not sure I needed so much i kind of forget i'm used to using quite sheer formulas so whenever i use something that's full coverage i'm like oh yeah maybe i didn't need as much of that so i'd say the color match is good like the shade always is across all of the nars foundations i quite like my foundations to have a bit of a yellowy tint to them just because i feel that it neutralizes my redness quite a bit and actually i feel like it looks quite natural on the face like i don't feel like it's too dry but it's definitely not, it's not tacky. I can't feel it on the face at all. It's not like a shed load of glow. It's definitely more of like a satiny look. It does say radiant, but then it does say long wear. And I guess if you're gonna have something that is long wearing, it is gonna have like more of a matte texture to it. But I'd say overall, I quite, I quite like that. It blended in really quickly, went on really well. I mean, I did use it with a brush, so I feel like that's always gonna get more of a full coverage finish. I feel like I might prefer the finish with a beauty blender because I feel like you just get a little bit more glow out of a formula when you use this. Speaking of which, another thing that I did buy from Space NK was a new beauty blender. I thought this one was cool. I feel like it kind of, um, it's green. It sort of goes a bit more with what we've got going on in the flat. And also I've got a tear in my other one. That's the thing with beauty blenders, like, they're such a boring purchase to make, but they are my favourite. I've tried the Real Technique ones, I've tried the cheaper dupes, and I just, I just love this one. So I thought, you know what, it's time to make that boring purchase and pick up one of these. Um, but yeah, I will report back on this, because I feel like it says that it's long wearing, and I want to give that a test for you guys. So have a little look in the description box below, and I'll pop kind of longevity reviews of everything that I pop on my face. And actually... It hasn't creased under my eyes. I read the back of the Becca and it did say perfectly prepped for corrector and concealer application so makeup never creases or looks cakey. And I have to say, it doesn't look cakey and I haven't even got concealer on right now. So I'm gonna put a bit more makeup on and then come back to you for the final makeup product. Okay, we're back. And if you do fancy knowing what else I put on my face, it's not very exciting, is what I 
there in practically every video. I'll make sure that is down in the description box for you. I've been wanting this for a really long time. It is the signature set by RMS Beauty. This is the mod collection. And actually, the lovely girl who recommended the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in caramel to me commented on, I think it was my 2017 favourites. I think she's called Kristen. Hi. Um, you were like, Anna, you need to get this. So I did. I actually had, I had 30 pounds of Space NK and Dodge points. I don't want to know how much I had to spend to get those points, but I basically kind of used them on this. I have to say this, I've looked at this online for quite a while. They have it on Space NK and Cold Beauty. Um, and I looked at it online for a long time and it looks a lot bigger than this. I was quite surprised by how small it was when it arrived. But I do like things like this. They're good for travel. They're good to throw in your handbag. It's basically a miniature that has in the master mixer, which is more of like a peachy kind of highlight. The living luminizer, which is more of their like silvery highlight the lip to cheek in spell and then the lip to cheek in smile i've had this before really like it and then this is the simply coco lip and skin balm so i kind of like there's a bit of everything in there i feel like my lips need a bit so i'm gonna throw a bit of the bar on yeah lips sorted and then i really wanted to maybe mix a bit of the two luminizers and just use it as a cheek highlight instead of glossier halo scope which i've been using like constantly <laughs> i've used the living luminizer before and i really like it well, that looks quite nice actually. I do think this is quite expensive for what it is. You're not getting a ton of product in there, but RMS Beauty is good, high quality, natural, good stuff. I might use a little bit of the like dusky rose actually, that one. That is in Smile. Oh, I like that, it's very natural looking. I'm gonna pop a little bit on the lips. Maybe I'll use a little bit with a pink actually as well. Oh, I like that. Together they've made a nice kind of peachy pink color. I like that, I think it's nice, I think it's very expensive for the small amount of product that you get. It's not exactly completely rocking my world, but I will use it up and it, the products are nice. I'd say out of the four things I've bought from Space & K so far, the, um, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation is my favorite, but on to the bits from Space & K. <laughs> So these are all repurchases, kind of. There's one exception. Um, the Pixie Glow Peel Pads. They're bloody great. I really, really like these. I like the original Glow Tonic. And I think it was around November-ish last year. I just noticed that my skin was looking a bit dull, looking a bit gross. It's kind of winter time. I need a bit of radiance. I started using these in the evening. So I would do this after cleansing, then put on my Kiehl's and um, the Iris extract that I like then do serum, then do like moisturizer. And actually I feel like they've been working so well and just the convenience of them, they're very convenient. And in each pack you get 60 pads. So they kind of last two months. I was coming to the end of my pack and I just wanted to have another pack ready to go because I just love them. And I think they make my skin truly glow like they say. And then these two, they're both from Sam McKnight. I was very kindly sent this one in Cool Girl. And this is a repurchase. I bought another one. I was like, oh my God, I like this so much. I need to have this in my life. This is almost like one of those texture sprays almost with a bit of hairspray added in. I've got it in my hair now, and I feel like it just, it, I, can, I can feel it in my hair. My head doesn't feel like it, you know, oh, so light, like it hasn't got product in. It definitely feels like it has product in, but it gives me volume, which is hard to get in my hair. And it kind of, yeah, it sort of has that hairspray property to it. So I feel like it holds the texture. It holds if you put a curl in it, holds if you put a wave in it. So yeah, I really liked it. I've repurchased it. I like it, would definitely recommend. And then this is Lazy Girl, which is their dry shampoo. I'll take this one out so you can kind of see what the bottles look like. I used this in the video that I did, the home renovation video um, video that I did. <laughs> home renovation video video that I did. <gasps> oh, how many times did you say video? I used that then. My hair wasn't great. We didn't have a shower at the time. I hadn't washed my hair for like two days, three days maybe. It really needed a wash. I put this in and I don't feel like I look back at that video and feel like my hair looked particularly greasy. So was really impressed with this as well. So yeah, I really like this brand. I've just laid out all my empties and there is an absolute ton here. So I'll try and be quite quick going through them. But we've got hair care, skincare, body care, and then just one makeup product. There are some things on their way out. So definitely the next time I do this type of video, there'll be some more makeup things. You can't even see what it says on it, but it's the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. I actually quite like them when they get dried out. So I use them until there literally is nothing left in there. Would I buy this again? Yes, I already have another one on the go. For hair care, obviously, I have two of these, two of the Sunday shampoo, the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. Would I repurchase it? Yes, 
I think I've got another three already in my drawers. It's the only shampoo practically that I use. Absolutely love it. And I feel like all of these make my two Sam McKnight purchases completely justified because I've used up quite a lot of sprays. I've used up two of the miniature IGK Jet Lag Invisible Dry Shampoo. Really like. I've still got another big one that I'm working my way through. Definitely would repurchase. I don't know what one I prefer out of this and the Sam McKnight. I'd need to do some further testing and report back to you. And then I also used up the Beach Club Texture Spray. Again, I have another one of these already on the go. And I also used up the Down and Out Dirty Spray, which I'm not sure I would rebuy again because I think now I've found this one. This is just lighter textured. I feel like this is a little bit too much, a little bit too like claggy in my hair. So I don't think I'll pick up another one of these, definitely with these. There's always loads of body care products in these videos and I feel like there's always one of these. This is Tend Skin. I can't remember where I get this from. I feel like I get it off Beauty Bay. I think they're the only place that's still making this. But this is great if you self-maintain your bikini line because it stops ingrown hairs. You literally will not get ingrown hairs if you use this. So I've already got another one of these on the go. It's the best one of that product that I found. It's the, definitely the most effective. And then I've got loads of shower gels. The Glossier Body Hero, would I repurchase this? No, I wouldn't because I feel like I prefer this. And they're kind of a similar price. The L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. I absolutely love this. I used it up this morning and I used a miniature when I was on holiday as well. This was from the kits that Lily and I did with them. I just think this is, to me, that is my ultimate favourite shower gel. Another one that I got is the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino Shower Gel. I was saving this until we had the new bathroom, but I actually ended up using this before Christmas. I wouldn't repurchase this. I was very kindly gifted this, so it wasn't technically a purchase in the first place. But I wouldn't go out to buy it because it is crazy expensive. And although it smelt nice, it wasn't particularly special it's not like the perfume hung around all day or anything definitely looked nice out in the bathroom but i still prefer the l'occitane speaking of l'occitane i used one of the almond supple skin oil little miniature i think i had this from the l'occitane i think it was their advent calendar had this in used that up whilst we were away and i just love it i just think it's very luxurious feeling and then I also used the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. This is in the Grapefruit Leaf Scent, which is so nice. I'm not sure it was limited edition. I would pick this up again purely for the scent. I think the Clarins Hand Creams are awesome. My mum and sister are very into hand creams and their favorite one is just like the original version of it. They love that one. And then also the Nails Ink Vitamin E Oil Pen. I have another one of these already on the go. They just what I use, I keep it in my bedside table and they're just what I use to kind of pop around my cuticles before bed if I can be asked. Oh, we are getting through this. Right, skincare, finally. Um, I have three of the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Removers. Um, so yes, I have already purchased a new one. I'm currently using it. It's just the best eye makeup remover, the best. Especially if you wear waterproof mascara like me, nothing else gets it off quite like this. I have one of the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleansers. You'll see there's a lot of Glossier coming up. I go through it, I repurchase it. I've already got another one of these on the go. I did recently get back into the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm, and now the bathroom is like practically there and I have my big Ikea cabinet. I can't wait. I'm definitely gonna do a little like bathroom tour and skincare routine and stuff when it's all sorted out. But now there's actually storage in the bathroom. I feel like I can have more than one cleanser option out there. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have the Oscar, I'm definitely gonna have the Emma Hardy, but I like this one. It does what it says on the tin, very simple and easy to use. I have three <laughs> serums. I love serums. I think they're one of my favorite parts of my routine because I feel like they're really what hydrates the skin. The Glossier Super Bounce, I've got two of those. Um, really like them, again, have another one already on the go. But I did also use up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I had this hanging around from like a, oh, I don't wanna know how long ago, but it still worked and my skin <laughs> was fine with it. Um, and actually, I really liked it. I forgot how hydrating this was. And actually I'm using this at the moment in conjunction with this one, I kind of chop and change. I feel like the Estee Lauder is like slightly more hydrating. It's a bit more of an advanced formula. So I feel like I go for the Glossier more in the day, the Estee Lauder more in the night, but I like them both. And then moisturizers, I do like a bit of moisturizer. The Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich, again, completely used up. 
Well, it's very satisfying, isn't it, when you find things used up. And then I have a Kiehl's, a mini one. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I used this when we were in New Zealand, used it on the flight. It's a very good basic moisturizer, especially if you're on a flight and you don't want to be too greasy or like not hydrated enough and like dry feeling. That was awesome. But I do prefer the Ultra Facial Cream with SPF 30 in it. I have a massive tub though, very kind of sent me like this huge tub that's literally gonna last me like probably for the rest of the year and that's what I'm currently using and then Ceramidin by Dr. Jar is completely used up Lily is a fan of this Caroline is a fan of this I really like it it's just a bit hard to get your hands on it in the UK and at the moment because I've kind of got these I haven't repurchased it yet but I would use it again in the future it's a very good basic moisturizer for kind of all skin types really especially if you're a bit more dehydrated and dry it's a great one to wear during the day because it's just very it just sits on the skin nicely isn't going to interfere with makeup or anything like that so that is everything i feel like it's always nice to show you the things that i have used up when i show you the things that are coming in and you can kind of see repurchases and things i'm replacing and yeah i'm definitely going to go to the recycling right now because that drawer is completely full but like i mentioned things that i've used on my face that probably require a bit of a longevity update i will pop that in the description box for you below along with links to every single thing that I have mentioned here but I would say top finds are the NARS foundation I like it and also the Sam McKnight oh, Sam McKnight oh. smooth but the Sam McKnight hair care super into that um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video like I said I will definitely be doing like a skincare routine and a little like bathroom and hallway updates thing because as you can see we're practically there um, so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you on next Sunday with a brand new video one more thing before I go there have been three new blog posts that have gone up this week so I'll make sure they are linked down below if you fancy a bit of a read now but yeah I'll see you next Sunday bye